Hello guys, welcome back to Target Study YouTube channel. It is a kind of dream for everyone to travel around the world and have an adventure on the seas. But what if someone gets this opportunity with the possibility of high remuneration? Of course, anyone will get attracted to it. And today I'm going to talk about one such profession that can fulfill your this dream and which is considered to be a glamorous job especially by those who have been bitten by the travel bug and that one field is of merchant navy yes merchant navy is one such profession which offers commercial services and an opportunity to visit new and exotic places around the globe it is not only monetarily rewarding but also satisfying and of course quite challenging if you are the one who is passionate about entering this adventurous field of merchant navy but are not aware of its eligibility conditions, salary packages, career prospects, how to join after 10th and 12th or anything related to it, then you are watching quite a relevant video right now. Because in this video I'm going to tell you about all these aspects of merchant navy. So keep watching this video till the end. Before entering into the details about merchant navy the first thing I would like to clear is that Merchant Navy is in no way related to Indian Navy as some of the people start relating to whenever they heard about the word Merchant Navy. Merchant Navy, as the name suggests, it is a term for commercial marine services such as shipping of cargo across various destinations in the world. It can also be said that merchant marine activities are not indigenous or native to any country but are spread across the world. Merchant Navy is not a government organization or sector, whereas Indian Navy is a naval branch of armed forces. Its primary objective is to safeguard the nation's marine time borders and, in conjunction with other armed forces of the Union, to deter or defeat any threats or aggression against the territory, people or marine time interest of India both in war and peace. So there is no such direct or indirect relationship between Merchant Navy and Indian Navy. After clearing this doubt, let's move forward. And let me first tell you what exactly Merchant Navy is. Merchant Navy is completely a commercial field. In fact, it is considered as the backbone of international trade, which is responsible for carrying cargo all over the world. It will not be an exaggeration if we say that in the present world, most of the import-export business would come to a grinding halt in the absence of Merchant Navy. You really cannot think of moving such huge consignments from one continent to another. And in fact, that too at quite an affordable rate. And this very fact has made it one of the most rewarding career options for today's younger generation. If you want to earn big and traveling across untamed oceans for months, if you want to earn big and traveling across untamed oceans for months does not bother you, then it can be the best option for you. Remember one thing that big bucks never come out without tough works and special skills. So if you are deciding to join Merchant Navy, then you must possess some special skills too. As in this field, your endurance will be tested by the sea, both physically and mentally. So it is important to be physically as well as mentally fit, because you might have to face tough situations on board. If you are a social animal who likes to get in touch with friends on every opportunity, then Merchant Navy is not for you as life at sea takes a toll on your social life. Ship life can get quite hard for a person with the extent of work and lack of free time for social interests. Last but not least, I would like to tell you, to be fit for Merchant Navy, you must have positive attitude and composure of mind because on ship, you must be seeing the same lot of people over months. That can automatically harbor resentment with an individual. If not, then boredom for sure. If you think that you have ticked all the points, then you are competent enough to join the field. And an obvious question must be creeping into your mind, that how to join Merchant Navy. Before knowing the process, you must be aware of various types of departments on the ship and the officers handling these departments. So there are three departments on a ship and that are the deck, managed and controlled by the deck and navigating officer, headed by the captain and his assistants, and decorating the non-officers. In the hierarchy of this department, there are the captain, the chief mate, the second mate, the third mate, and deck cadet. 
whereas deck rating consists of bosun the head of rating staff welder or fitter abled body seaman ordinary seaman and trainee os this department is responsible for the smooth navigating of the ship setting the course and the speed maintain orderliness and discipline along with ensuring safety of passengers crew and the cargo and the second department is the engine department managed and controlled by the engineering officers headed by the chief engineering officer and his assistant and engine room ratings in the hierarchy of this department there are chief engineering officer second engineering officer or first assistant engineer third engineering officer fourth engineering officer fifth engineering officer or engine cadet electrical officer and radio officer whereas engine room rating consists of fitter motorman wiper and trainee's fitter or trainee wiper the responsibility of the engine department is to take care of the engine room that is the main engine boiler pumps hydraulic and fuel system and the ship's electrical generating plant and distribution system maintains documents of the working of the machinery as well as repairs carried out and logs fuel consumption and requirement etc the third department is catering steward or services department headed by the chief cook and assisted by the trainee's cook steward and attendant this department maintains the crew's living quarters and prepares meals maintain inventories of food stuffs linen bedding furniture etc and oversees maintenance of living rooms and mess halls you can join merchant navy and choose to work in any of these three departments at various levels as per your educational qualification now i would like to tell you about some of the courses that can help you join merchant navy let us first talk about courses after 12th class be btech marine engineering on completion of this four year ug program candidates are provided class 4 marine engineer officer certificate of competency after 6 months of sea service candidates may become marine engineers on any merchant navy ship bsc in nautical science on completion of this 3 years bachelor of science degree course candidates are awarded the second mates foreign going certificate of competency after 12 months of sea service candidates may become navigation officers on merchant navy ships in any part of the world diploma in nautical science diploma version of nautical science is another course available the course followed by 18 months of sea service will lead to second mate foreign going certificate from the ministry of shipping along with a bsc in nautical science degree for these courses candidates must be between 17 to 25 years of age and they must have completed 12th class with 60% marks in pcm subjects for getting admission to these courses provided by top maritime institutes candidates may have to clear entrance exam like imu cet etc you can see our video on imu cet by clicking that i button on the top i will also add the link of the exam in the description box besides these courses you can go for some other related courses like bsc maritime science BE or BTEC Naval Architecture and Ocean Engineering, BBA in Shipping Management, BBA in Logistic and Supply Chain Management, BE or BTEC Ocean and Harbor Engineering, BSc Ship Building and Repair, BE or BTEC in Naval Architecture and Offshore Engineering. If you have already done a diploma course, then you can go for Diploma Maritime Engineering course. If you are a diploma holder in Mechanical, Electrical, naval architecture electrical and electronics engineering branches with 50% marks then you can do this 2 year long pre sea training course on completion of the course candidates are awarded class 4 marine engineering certificate of the competency after 6 months of sea service candidates may become marine engineer on merchant navy ships in any part of the world candidates age must be within 28 years of age when the course starts There are some related courses that can be pursued after graduation also like GME course it is a one year long program from mechanical engineering or naval architecture graduates on completion of the program candidates are awarded the class 4 marine engineer officer certificate of competency that enables them to become marine engineers candidates should be within 28 years of age at the time when the course starts 
Another one is Electrotechnical Officer course. Candidates with diploma or bachelor's degree in electrical, electronics, electrical and electronics, electronics and telecommunication, communication, electronics and instrumentation, can go for ETO training course that enables them to become electrical officers aboard merchant navy ships after six months of sea service. For this upper age limit is 35 years. Besides these courses that enable you to join merchant navy as an officer, you can go for some courses after class 10th to join the ratings of various departments of a ship. Those courses are general purpose rating course, deck rating course, engine crew rating course, salon rating course, near coastal voyage, STCW that is standards of training and certification of watch keeping and commercial diving course. After completion of these six months long courses, you can join merchant navy ships as deck, engine or catering crew. For doing these courses, your age should be between 17 or 17 and half years to 25 years. Besides, candidates should be fit as per merchant navy shipping rules. Eyesight requirement is 6 by 6 with no color blindness. Now you would like to know which are the top institutes offering courses related to Merchant Navy. Some of the top institutes offering courses related to Merchant Navy are Tolani Maritime Institute, Samundra Institute of Maritime Studies, Wells Academy of Maritime Studies, Chennai, Maharashtra Academy of Naval Education and Training, Pune, and Institute of Technology and Marine Engineering, Kolkata. Besides these top institutes, you can join Trident College of Marine Technology, Kolkata, Yak Maritime Academy, Navi Mumbai, Aquatech Institute of Maritime Studies, New Delhi, BP Marine Academy, Navi Mumbai, Balaji Seaman Training Institute, Chennai, School of Seamanship and Nautical Technology, Tamil Nadu, Oceanic Maritime Academy, Dehradun, and Sensi Maritime Academy, Kolkata. Now let's talk about the fee of various Merchant Navy courses. The fee for short-term Merchant Navy courses may vary from Rs. 1,50,000 to Rs. 2 lakhs, whereas the fee for UG Merchant Navy courses like B.Sc. Nautical Science or B.Tech Marine Engineering may vary from 10 lakh to 15 lakh rupees depending upon the course and the institute one joins. Now the million dollar question. How much salary one can get in Merchant Navy? A salary prospect in Merchant Navy depends on many factors like post, experience, joining time and qualification etc. Like if you join Merchant Navy in the deck or engine department as an officer, you can expect to get something near Rs 50,000 to Rs 60,000 to start with. Whereas in the catering or service department, it can be Rs 20,000 to 25,000. But there is an exponential growth in the salary of Merchant Navy professionals once they gain some experience and expertise. The salary can reach up to 8 lakhs to 10 lakhs per month of chief engineer. What are the career prospects in Merchant Navy? Growth in waterways across the world have created enormous employment opportunities in the field of Merchant Navy. Candidates who have completed their basic course in Merchant Navy can get jobs very easily as there is great demand of competent professional in this field. Companies that run Merchant Navy ships require trained people who can operate and maintain these ships. Once you have joined, say as deck cadet or engine cadet, there is every possibility of your becoming a chief mate or chief engineering officer. Even those who have joined in the rating of deck or engine room can climb the ladder of hierarchy after passing certain tests and attaining the required expertise. So we can say that there are ample of opportunities for talented mariner in the field of Merchant Navy. So guys, I have tried my best to acquaint you about various aspects of Merchant Navy. I hope you like this video. If it is really so, give us thumbs up. And along with your friends and relatives, share it on your WhatsApp groups, Twitter, Facebook and Instagram so that others can also take advantage from it. For more such informative videos, subscribe Target Study YouTube channel and to get regular notifications, hit the bell icon. Thank you for watching.